Welcome to our tutorial on ordering and receiving inventory. In this video, we'll be covering how to create purchase orders to request items and then receive them into stock using the Receive Items screen. There is very little setup needed to begin creating purchase orders. First, we'll head to our Vendor menu and select Enter Shipping Methods. Here you will enter all of the ways you expect items to be delivered from your vendors so that you can enter this information on your purchase order. Once you've entered your shipping methods, you may exit the screen. Now we will set the counter for our purchase order numbers. By default, your purchase order numbers will begin with the number 1 and increase sequentially from there. However, if you have a specific numbering scheme you wish to follow, you can enter the beginning numeral here and ESC will follow suit. Now let's create a purchase order. To do this, select Enter Purchase Orders from the Vendors menu. The first step in creating a purchase order is to select your vendor and, if necessary, the vendor's location that you will be purchasing from. You'll notice that the shipping address is currently set to your company address. This means that the vendor will be delivering or shipping the items to you. To have the items delivered to a customer's address, simply click the drop-down arrow in the Ship To field and select the customer location you want the items delivered to. Next, you have the ability to enter a purchase order number, or simply hit the Tab key on your keyboard and ESC will fill in the next available number. This brings us to the Entry Date field. This date will automatically be set to the current date, but you can change this if you need to backdate or predate this purchase order. The Date Requested field is for requesting that the items be delivered on a particular date. The Buyer field is where you'll enter your name so that you or other personnel in your company will know who generated the purchase order. Working along with this is the Confirm To field at the end, which is for entering the name of anyone that needs to oversee or authorize the purchase. The default terms for the vendor you selected will be automatically entered in the Terms field, but you can change this if you have other arrangements with your vendor. And finally, the Ship Via field allows you to control how the items will be delivered, whether you intend to pick them up or have them delivered by mail or package carrier. Now it's time to add items to this order. Begin by selecting Item from the Type field. This indicates that what you are about to add has already been entered into ESC as an inventory item or a billing code. You can use both for ordering items. You'll want to use a billing code if the item you are ordering will not be tracked or entered into stock as a regular inventory item. This may include unique or one-time items that you need for a specific job. If the item is likely to be ordered more than once, you should enter the item into your inventory so that you'll be able to track what has been ordered and what has been sold. Once you've selected your item, the description and the last price that this item was purchased at will both fill in automatically. Increasing the quantity will increase the amount field so that you know how much you're going to pay overall. The Compare button allows you to review the order history of this item, if there is any, to see if you are getting the best deal for this item or if you can get it cheaper elsewhere. If you are ordering parts for a specific project, you'll want to associate these parts to a particular job or dispatch. This should be done per line item, since not all items may be going to the same place or project. The Cost Type field allows you to categorize the items you are purchasing so that they can be reviewed later on your financial reports. This is for ESC accounting users only. The Department field allows you to allocate the cost of these items to a particular department rather than to a particular job or dispatch. This is for items that will not be costed on invoices. You also have the ability to track other costs from the purchase, such as shipping fees or taxes, using the Account type. The Item field will then list out your chart of accounts so that you can select where those costs will be recorded. For this example, we're going to add a delivery fee to this purchase order. With your order complete, now we need to send this order to your vendor. This can be done by clicking the Print button, or perhaps the Email button. Selecting either will save this purchase order in the process. You can also just click Save if you have called the order in. In some cases, you'll need to build a purchase order after the items were purchased. Perhaps a technician needed to run to the nearest hardware store and pick up a part, and called you to let you know what he just purchased and how much he paid. In instances like this, you'll need to not only save the purchase order, but you'll also want to immediately receive the item into stock. You can do so by clicking Save and Receive. This will not only save the purchase order, but also transfer the items on it to the Receive Items screen. Here it will display the items and the quantities that you have placed an order for. You'll need to fill in the Quantities field to confirm how many of each item you actually received, just in case you received less or more than what you placed an order for. In some cases, such as the technician who ran out to buy an item for a job, you may not need to enter a purchase order at all, 
but simply need to receive certain items into stock that were purchased on the fly. In such scenarios, you can simply access the Receive Items screen from the Vendors menu. Select the vendor that the items were purchased from, fill in the date, buyer's name, and begin adding your items. Just like the Purchase Order screen, you will have the ability to use inventory items, billing codes, and accounts in the Receive Items screen. Just click Save to receive those items into stock. This concludes our tutorial on ordering and receiving items in ESC. Thanks for watching.